For those of you that don't know me, my name is Maddie Nicholas. I am a senior at North Harrison High School, or I'm representing North Harrison as I'm doing e-learning at home. Um, so today I'm gonna be talking about things that are on my mind or like things that I think need to be discussed. And I'm also gonna be talking about seniors. <laughs> um, we just got told that we aren't going back to school May 1st, which we kind of had hoped that we would, but we don't. God has an another thing in plan. But that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm just going to be brushing up on those topics. So a couple weeks ago, Sawyer Alford made a video about how social media can be the enemy. But it's not the enemy. It's about what you do with it to make it proceed that way. Um, many people have social media. Um, and usually what they put on their social media is what is how they want the world to view them as. Or how they want their followers, their like, whoever likes their photos, any of that. That's how they want strangers and their friends to view them as and usually it's like accomplishment and stuff but also they could probably post some pretty negative demeaning things to other people um right now during quarantine there's probably a lot of mental health that is very down right now and there's depression people have anxiety low self-image um and during this quarantine since they can't go to school they can't use school as a distraction or a safe haven so what they're doing is they're using social media as that but what you guys don't think about is when you post that negative stuff, those people with the low self image and all that, that's what they're going to see. They're not going to see the positiveness that you should be bringing to your social media. They're seeing the negative. So if it's negative, how are they gonna know that the world is good? There's greater good out there. Um, I wanna challenge you guys to use the hashtag kingdom over myself movement. And that's a hashtag that's like, that's talking about cleaning up your social media. Um, what I really want you guys to do is I want you guys to see how many people you can touch with the word of God. See how you can touch yourself. See how much your, your self image and others self worth will be risen with just the word of God. Uh, that's, that's generally what my social media should be or anybody's social media should be. So instead of being negative, focus on how kind you can. So I'm going to talk about today is seniors. <laughs> oh, seniors. We just got told we do not get a last day with our class. Now I can't say that all seniors are heartbroken, but I know most of my friends are heartbroken. That we can't get a senior skip day, we can't get prom, we can't get like the final moments to say we walked through our last day of high school. We can't even get a graduation, heck. Uh, many other grades and parents can say they're sorry and say they know what we are going through, but they don't. They don't know what it's like to have at least a tiny bit of hope that we still might be able to be a kid for a little bit longer and just have that ripped away. I'll be honest. I've cried on multiple nights and multiple occasions about this. Um, and my heart hurts for everyone else that is going through this. Uh, the realistic point of view is that we don't get any of this back. We might ask for it, but we're not getting any of this back. Um, we kind of just got a big slap in the face and got told to grow up. But I believe God has a purpose for us. In the book of Deuteronomy, um, the privileges of holiness, the Lord did not set his heart on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other nations, for you were the smallest of all nations. Rather than it was simply that the Lord loves you, he was keeping the oath that he had sworn to his ancestors. That is why the Lord rescued you. I believe God had a purpose for our class. It's always our class. Um, but the truth is, God is using us in ways we don't even know yet. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and now not harm you to give you hope in a future. Michael Josephin said, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but do not forget the journey. Seniors, I know sitting at home doing e-learning is not what you expected and maybe not how, and maybe not getting graduation is how you wanted to leave your mark, but this is all a part of the journey. It sucks, like it really does, but this is, this is all a part of God's plan. The Lord chose our class to get through it because he knows out of every other class and everyone, we can get it through it together. We will let this affect us in so many positive ways and it will just be a mark in our future. This is a part of our story. Our future is bright. Do not stop working hard and keep pushing forward. When this is over, we will be able to say that we are the class of COVID-19.
keep working guys. Thanks for listening.